Technology has yet to cure the coronavirus, but patient, well, one patient and her pastor believe that a handheld device could provide some much needed comfort when fighting COVID-19. NBC4's Beverly White has the story. Maxine Kemp's family shared photos of her with her cell phone, recovering at home from COVID-19. But during days of treatment at Kaiser in Harbor City, the retired educator was cut off from the world without a charger when her cell phone died. These days, you don't know numbers unless they're in your phone. Now, they give you a, a phone in the hospital, but you don't have any numbers that you know that you can call. Mrs. Kemp's family held signs outside her hospital window after the 81-year-old was admitted with presumed cancer complications. I got in and they said the fever's up. We're going to keep you. So they, I didn't even know they'd taken a test for the corona, but I, they put me in the hospital. And two days later, he came and he said, you test positive for corona. The challenge of COVID-19 patients staying connected on their devices resonated with Mrs. Kemp's church family, too. By teaming up with Best Buy, fraternities, and faith leaders, her pastor hopes to put phone chargers in select hospitals as soon as possible. Individuals are literally dying alone, and they're not in contact with their family, friends, and loved ones. And so God gave me the idea just then to create a ministry. Formal announcements are planned this Monday about the partnership born in a pandemic. So that we could purchase uh, these products, both Android and Apple cell phone chargers um, at a great price that we could provide them uh, here locally and hopefully around the country if people choose to support us. Mrs. Kemp recalls seeing no visitors, only helpful hospital staff. She agrees a working device is precious when illness fills your world. Already you're devastated that you're in there and you got in the world count of this deadly virus. So you need someone to talk to and someone to pray with. In Burbank, Beverly White, NBC4 News.